We're following at this very hour, demonstrators are taking over the downtown office of Republican Senator Rob Portman. This is brand new video just into the Nine on Your Side newsroom. You can see all the folks there inside the building. Ashley Zilka joins us live outside the Scripps Center at 3rd and Walnut with their message to the Republican Senator. Ashley. Well, guys, at this hour, nine people remain on the 34th floor inside the Scripps building. They're actually inside Senator Rob Portman's office, and they tell me they don't plan to leave. Now, I actually just FaceTimed with them within the past 10 minutes again, and they said they want to make 100% sure the senator votes no to the proposed health care bill. They have been inside Senator Rob Portman's office since four in the afternoon, and this group says they are spending the night. We're ready to hold the space for as long as it takes. In a FaceTime interview, they told me exactly what they want from Portman. We need uh, Senator Portman to, uh, in writing, uh, agree to not vote for this atrocious bill that they're trying to call health care. This is not health care. We need Medicare for all, but before that, we need a no vote. A no vote on this and any other piece of legislation which would harm Medicare. Medicaid. Medicaid. I spoke to the senator myself on Wednesday. He said he is against the Senate's proposed health care bill and won't vote for it. I'm still concerned about the way in which Medicaid is dealt with in the proposal, and um, so we're, it still uh, needs some help need some improvements in order to get my support. David Lynch says he's not confident in Portman's answer. We think it's certainly not outside the realm of possibility that Senator Portman could come back and vote yes on a revised bill.